This tutorial is about high ashy candlesticks. We're going to explain what they are, how they differ from standard candlesticks, and we'll look at some real world examples to see how they can be used. Hello, I'm Peter Martin with Trading212, and we add trading and investing tutorials to YouTube regularly. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button so that you don't miss out when we release new content. Well, Heiken Ashi candlesticks are similar to standard candlesticks, but they present slightly different data. So before we get into Heiken Ashi candlesticks, let's quickly recap how standard bar charts and standard candlesticks work. So we'll start by quickly recapping a bar chart. Each bar presents graphically four pieces of information. We have the high and the low of the day, and that's represented by this line in the middle, and then the open on the left and the close on the right. So I've got two bars here, red and a green one. They don't have to be red and green, but that is the way it's presented in Trading 212's web app. They both really show the same information. They are the same thing, just that one has the close being higher than the open, which is what makes it green, and the red one is where the close was lower than the open. So with Japanese candlesticks, it's pretty similar. The same four pieces of information, open, high, low, close, being presented graphically. Got a red and a green candle here. They both show the high and the low, and that's represented by this wick either side of the candle's body. Um, whether it's red or green, once again, represents whether the close was lower or higher than the open. With this red candlestick, it's showing that the close was lower than the open. So the open is at the top, the close at the bottom, and it's the other way round with a green candle. The close is at the top and then the open is at the bottom. So there's a higher close than we had for the opening of the period. Sometimes this is uh, a black body for uh, a down candle and a uh, white or empty body for what, uh, a candle where the period ended with a higher close than the open, but these colors are used in Trading 212's web app. So that's how a standard Japanese candlestick works. As we said before, Heiken Ashi presents slightly different data than the open, high, low, close that are presented by a standard candlestick. The four pieces of information that are presented visually by a Heiken Ashi candlestick are in fact derivations in various ways of those pieces of information, namely the open, high, low, close. So let's look at that in a bit of detail now. So for high and ashy candlesticks, we aren't just simply using the open, high, low, close. In fact, we're looking at the open, high, low, close for the current period and for the previous and doing some calculations as we can see here. So the high and close is an arithmetic mean, the average of the open, high, and low, and close of the period in question. So we add those together and divide by four. And then uh, high can high is the maximum of either the high or the open or the close of the current period, whichever is the biggest of the three. And then the high can low is the minimum of the current period's low, open, or close, whichever is the lowest of those three. And then the high can open is actually an average, an arithmetic mean of the previous periods open and close. We add those together and divide by two. And then those, these, uh, Four values here are what are used to construct our Heiken candles. In Trading 212's web app, they are red and blue, as you can see. So now that we've looked at how the four different values that go into constructing a Heiken Ashi candlestick are calculated, how does this actually help us? Well, when we add Heiken Ashi candlesticks to a chart, it gives it a slightly different look, as you'll see in just a moment. And this can help us to gain further insight about what's going on technically with a market than just looking at standard candlesticks. For example, sometimes high Ashi candlesticks can make trending behavior appear more visible. So let's take a look at some actual charts, some real markets, add some high Ashi candlesticks to it using Trading 212's web app and see how this can actually help us see what's going on with the market. So here we have a daily chart of gold. I want to focus here on this run up in price from November 2018 through to February 2019. Note in this bar chart how we have green bars mixed in with quite a few red ones over that period as well. So although we can see with hindsight that the market ended up trending higher over that period, we don't necessarily see any clear bullish indication from the mix of green to red. Now, if we switch to a standard candlestick chart, 
then of course that mix doesn't change. It remains the same because they are both basically presenting the same data. Now, if we switch to a Hike and Ashy chart, it changes the complexion of the chart, as we can see. Now we have uh, a more consistent picture. You can see that we have more blue candles in succession. And when we see the red candles, it matches very closely to when there were small pauses in the trend. Also note in the upward moves, how often we have these long candlestick bodies with no lower wick, no lower shadow. In periods where the direction wobbles, we tend to have small candlestick bodies with relatively long wicks either side. And if we move to look at a chart of the dollar index, also with Heikinashi, we see that tendency again. If we see these changes in direction, the very small candlestick bodies, long wicks either side, we see that on quite a few occasions. Uh, it doesn't have to be the case. We can see, for example, here that we get a change in direction without seeing that, but it does tend to be the case that when we see that, it is where we get a change in direction. So let's go back to gold. And so let's just run over some conventional thinking for Heike and Ash. And it goes along the lines of if we see a long blue candlestick body with no lower wick, that is a bullish signal. If we see a long red candlestick body with no upper wick, that is a bearish indication. And a small body with a long wick either side, a long shadow either side, that may indicate a change in trend. Of course, these are just general rules of thumb. They're just tendencies. They aren't hard and fast rules. They don't always work. Um, now, of course, as with all technical indicators, it can work more effectively when used in conjunction with other technical tools and other analysis methods. So one idea might be to use it as a way of further informing your trading decisions as opposed to entirely driving your trading decisions. So you could be using some other method, let's say for the purposes of just giving an example that you're using a volatility envelope. I'm just going to add on a simple moving average envelope here. And let's just say for the purposes of argument that you've noticed that the market, when it breaks below, it does tend to stay for most of the time within the envelope. It occasionally breaks outside and tends to come back. So let's just say that you were using this envelope as a guide to support and resistance. Um, and the, the actual strategy isn't really that important. It's just a hypothetical example to demonstrate the principle of using it in conjunction with Heiken Ashley. But let's say that your primary strategy was to counter trend when you see that break outside. And then what you're going to do is to try and um, test that thinking by looking at what kind of behavior we're getting in previous such in instances in terms of Heike and Ashi. So we can see we got this break uh, below here and it bounces back. When you've got the red, you might want to hold off until you see the blue indication. You've got candlesticks, uh, wicks either side of the candlestick body. And so you would buy at that point and it bounces back in. Once again, you see the red break below, but you wait for the blue and then you would buy back in. You can see that got that uh, telltale sign of the small candlestick body with the wicks either side. But here, when it breaks above, we've only got bullish candles. So you would hold off at that point. And in fact, the market does keep moving higher. And for example, here, where we're seeing a break above and you might be thinking of counter trending and selling, but we're still seeing bullish indications from Heike and Ashley. So you would hold off until you saw something that made it seem like it's a safer time to uh, oppose the trend. So as you can see, there are a number of potential uses for Heiken Ashi candlesticks. We were just looking there inside Trading 212's web app, but don't forget you can download for free native mobile apps for both iOS and Android, and you'll find links to those in the video description. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please take a second to hit the thumbs up button and give us a like, or why not share your thoughts on Heiken Ashi candlesticks with us in the comments section. We do read each one. But that's all for now for me, Peter Martin and Trading212. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.